Welcome to challenge six. I hope you're having a really good day. This one's a little bit different. As always, I'll ask myself, where do I first start drawing this? And it's usually at the side that has the most degrees of freedom or the more complex side. And in this case, it's the transaction that goes through the shape. So let's head into solve space and get started. I want you to notice in the diagram we have very small scales. We've got a fraction of a millimeter. If you're using soft space on Windows, what you need to do is go to Edit and Configuration. Then you should get this list of settings in your property panel. But the one I want you to look at is down here where it says digits after decimal points to show. And I've already changed this from two to four. And that's because if you look in the technical drawing we've got four decimal places i'm going to try and sketch this now from the side view and because the scale is really small i'm just going to draw a first line there select that line make it horizontal and i'll define the length of it to be 0.3125 and you can see there just how small this line is so i'll drag it down i'm going to try and get it uh, fairly close to the origin Let's continue to complete the contour line. Okay, that's not a really good sketch. Doesn't matter. Let me just uh, constrain these lines now. That one needs to be vertical. And that one horizontal. Okay. Let's carry on. Let's put in some measurements now. The distance from this point to this line is 0.75. So let's take a look at this part here. It says here that we've got a diameter of 0.25, but underneath that measurement, we have another diameter of 0.4375. That refers to the larger circle at the front, and that doesn't go all the way through because it says that we have a depth of 0.3125. That arrow pointing down is referring to depth. This line here is the depth of the first hole, and that line therefore should be 0.3125. Now let's constrain the height of this point. So the distance from the origin to this line, so it's 0 0.125 millimeters. Let's first sort out the distance from the origin to this line, 1.0312. The distance from this point to this line should be 0.156. And the angle of this, uh, I like to call it a peak, I'm not really sure what you call it, but the angle of this line is related to the distance between this point and the imaginary point that is vertical above this point. Let's put that point of reference in now. So I'll select point, click on the line, and we've now got a point over here. I'll select it and this point, and let's make them vertical to each other. I want the distance between those two points to be 0.125 and we've reduced the uh, degrees of freedom now to two we've just sorted out the peak up here there's a few more line constraints that needs to be done over here we need to constrain the distance from the origin to this line 1.0937 and finally we've got one degree of freedom because we can slide the object backwards and forwards so i'm going to anchor the object and i'm not going to anchor it at the origin because we need that space to create the hole in the middle of the shape so what i'm going to do is select these two points and make them vertical to each other we've anchored the shape now the next thing you need to do is to rotate this sketch in a 3d rotary fashion like a lathe and to do that i need to specify an axis and a point so the axis has to be along here, and we don't have that axis yet, so I'll create a line, and I'll make the line horizontal by clicking here. Convert the contour line into a guideline by clicking G on the keyboard. Select this point and this axis, and click this button this time. And that creates a disk for us, and just by looking at it, you can see we've got our big hole and smaller hole. If you can't see it, what you can do is click this button up here. I need to create the hole that goes through the back of the object. To create a new work plane, I need two lines and that point, and I click here. Now I got a little bit confused with this hole because it says it's an 8-32 UNC. When I check that online, it tells me that 8-32 is 4.166 millimeters. And I thought to myself, that's way too big for this model. So I'm probably doing something wrong here. 
I'm either looking at the wrong specification or I'm missing something. If I have, please let me know in the comments section. But to proceed with this challenge, I'm just going to draw that hole from perspective. I'm going to select the line segment tool and I'm going to draw half of the contour. Just sketching it for now. And I know the depth of the hole is 0.5 millimeters. And that's the distance from here to that line. Tidy this up a bit so you can see it better. I'm going to keep the sketch like that. I'm going to specify this line to be whatever it is right now. And this line, we've got two degrees of freedom. And that's because I can move the whole sketch now in the plane. The drawing says that the distance from the middle of the hole to the center of this hole has to be 0.5 millimeters. And to do that, you select this point and that line and click here. And we've got one degree of freedom, and that's because I can now move this. So the idea now is I need to move this into the 3D object and then rotate it around to create a 3D hole and subtract it from the larger model. Firstly, I need to constrain that sketch in the 3D model. And to do that, I click on this point and uh, this point. I can constrain them to be vertical to each other. We've got zero degrees of freedom in our previous sketch. We've got one degree of freedom. So let's head back into that. One degree of freedom is because we've not specified the length of this line. It's not that important, but it's probably good practice that we achieve zero degrees of freedom. So select the line and I'll just give it a length of one. We've got the zero degrees of freedom. Okay, so click on this button and that shows all the occluded lines and I'll hide the measurements for now. And let's create a lathe now. So I'll click on that point and that line and click on this button here and then take the difference to create the hole. And there you go. You can see the hole in the middle. Give you a better perspective this way. And I can go to home. Hi doll. The new thing we learned in this challenge was how to extrude in a rotary fashion like a lathe. And let's move on to challenge number seven.